to the Bill Reichenbach Show. Here we are at Coney Island. This is the lovely boardwalk, and I'm here with my family today, enjoying Coney Island. These are the world famous polar bears going by me right now, and they're all headed over to the okay. beach. Now, uh, in case you don't know much about the Polar Bear Club, and I don't know really a whole lot about the Polar Bear Club, but what they do is, they're famous for really just going in sub-zero temperature waters, freezing water in the, in the winter time. It's not, it's about 60, 70 degrees right now here in New York City. I see they're warming up. That was... A very, very short warm-up period. They did about 10 jumping jacks. And here they go. They're going to douse themselves in the chilly Brooklyn waters. They're literally the only ones willing to go in the water this time of year. It's um, April 11th, 2010 in New York City. And there go the world-famous polar bears. Are you a polar bear, sir? I I am not a polar bear. Why? I'm not, not, but you my have sister a, is a polar bear. Why is your sister a polar bear? It's about 37 <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit, the water right now. That's cold. some more polar bears. This is what a polar bear looks like. He's actually got a polar bear hat on. Here's a, a shaped polar bear. Some of them are in shape and some of them aren't in shape. Well, here I am. I came all the way back up. Here come How is the water, you guys? Freezing. Who wants to be interviewed for Bill Reichenbach TV on YouTube? Okay. Oh, no, I just realized okay, well, I'm crazy a few times now. You're, you were called crazy, but uh, I kind of thought everybody in the Polar Bear Club was just a little bit crazy. Well, what do you think? To. Are you guys I a little just, bit crazy? I just converted him to be a crazy person, so he's going to start joining next, next year. Next year, I'm pledging. Yeah. Do my 12 swims. You know what I say? Dare to be different, and uh, the polar bears are, are different. So what made you want to become a polar bear now? You, you must. Who's been a polar bear the longest? We actually became uh, bears the same day a couple yeah. weeks ago. Oh, so you've just been a couple of weeks, so well, why don't you tell us what made you make this uh, polar bear decision? I want to be a polar bear when I first started coming, and then I saw every uh, New Year's Day, we come out, they come out here, and I just started on New Year's Day. So you just you decided, I want to go freeze my ass off in the waters of New York. It's adrenaline. It gives you like so much energy. It's like, it's like being on drugs, but naturally. And also, it makes you um, not get sick. I've been sick since I've done it. Because it builds your immune system up, so it's actually really healthy for you. Well, People well, think it makes you sick, it makes you healthy. It keeps you really well. So. Well, 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 there it is. I, I tell you, I, even I've been a little inspired. Do it. I, I, I almost want to become a polar bear. Just there it, it is, folks. The Polar Bear Club. Coney Island, New York. And here's something else, uh, what you know, else really special say? about Coney Island. They have all these rides for the kids. That's my lovely daughter over there waiting to go on Wally or Willie, named appropriately for her dad, Last Willie the Whale. Least, a trip to uh, Coney Island is not complete. Visiting the uh, New York Aquarium. The New York Aquarium. Here we go. We're already seeing outrageous fish. This is a fantastic aquarium. I mean, these big fish are going right by us. Uh, off to the um, sea lion right. show. We found a seat. Here we are. Ready for the um, sea lion, I believe it is, show. So much to do it in one day at Coney Island. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Aquarium Dock Theater. Party by the Look at all those today. people.
we're done with the sea lion now. It's time for the sharks and the turtles. Take a look at this. Take a look at that. Look at that mean face. Look at that turtle. Look at this guy. Literally, giant sharks coming right out of those stingrays. It's a gruesome looking beast. Huh? Look at this thing coming at us. Look at his eyeballs. I'd like to run into him in the ocean. I wouldn't want to let him take a bite out of me. Jellyfish. All right. Look at that thing. And there's more of them. One of God's amazing creatures. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, you're not on acid. You're at the um, New York Aquarium in Coney Island. I think that's enough aquarium. Here I am, back on the beach. One last beach trip before I go. Other people are having a good time out here too. Building sand castles. Playing in the water. And that's my Isabella over there. Can't go wrong with clams, beer, and soft ice cream. Look at all these yum yums. A little bit of fried everything. Fried corn dogs and sausages and smiling faces of Brooklyn. Shoot the freak. This guy's been making money off of New Yorkers for years. And take a look at this thing. You want to play? Step right up. We got plenty of guns, plenty of pitfalls. Yeah, we'll let you know. Even though we shoot people here, safety does come first. And this is quintessential like I said, Coney the, Island, these Brooklyn, prices New York. Have not gone up in nine years, people. Fifteen. Prices haven't have gone up, up in nine years. <laughs> okay, these guys basically shoot the characters all part down of the Coney there. Island experience. Your experience can't be complete until you shoot the freak. There it is. Come on, people. After this, you're going to go over the nation to watch until you the grilled hot freak. dogs that walk away without... It's also not Coney Island without a Nathan's hot dog. Pretty easy page. Got myself a, a beer here. And um, we're looking at some tacos now. Okay, I decided upon tacos at the uh, Taco and Torta Hut. These are my tacos. Look at that. They look like authentic Mexican tacos to me. I'm a bit of a taco connoisseur. I love a good taco. And these look fantastic.